Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri from Bianca Land, and today we're going to do a little bit of planting for this free seed project that I found online. Uh, they send you some free seeds, and like we started the first video, we bought some pots, we put in some potting mix, and now we're going to do a little bit of planting today. Uh, at least for one, we're going to plant some herbs. Uh, today we're going to be planting cilantro, basil, chive, and dill. Um, they gave me a list, and it has 21 different plants and seeds on it, but today we're going to plant those four. So to get started here, we're going to pre-moisten the soil a little bit. Um, part of this is so that when you put the water in, the soil is a little bit damp. This is because when you go to water after the seeds, it'll help the water continually kind of run through the soil. But if you don't pre-moisten, it's harder to get the soil evenly moist, and it's harder to get the water deeper into the pot. So we're going to pre-moisten just a little bit, not too much, and then we're going to plant our seeds. Okay, so I'm going to cut this into quarters since we're going to be planting four different things. Uh, the cilantro, the basil, the chives, and the dill uh, all need a planting depth of about a quarter inch to a half inch. And here's a little cool little envelope I received from the Free Seed Project. There's like 21 packets, 22 packets in here. 16 is the cilantro. It's supposed to be 10 seeds. Um, I'm just going to clear away one of these quadrants here. And I'm just hoping here we get about a quarter inch. Doesn't need to be exact. Now I'm just going to take these seeds here and kind of spread them out um, fairly evenly. One thing I've learned is it's better to overplant because a lot of your seeds might not end up seeding. And then you can always go back and thin later. And then we're just going to kind of cover these back up. We'll kind of pat these back down, give them a firm base so that it holds the moisture and the nutrients around them. And then we're going to move on to our second one here. So this next one here is going to be basil. And these seeds are usually fairly small, uh, especially depending on which type of basil you plant. Genovese basil is typically the most common. Uh, that one has larger green leaves and the seeds are like a large, little bit larger, like a black uh, little spheres. But when you plant something such as spicy globe, uh, the seeds are typically quite a bit smaller. So I'm just going to dump all of these out here. There's really not too many. There's supposed to be 50 seeds and to be honest with you, there's maybe 20 at most. <laughs> That's okay. These are free seeds so I'm not complaining too much. And I guess there are a handful stuck in the bag. But we're going to kind of spread these out and just sprinkle these over the pot. And then I'm going to kind of tap this to get anything else out that was in there. And then we'll recover these. Kind of re-pat these back down again. And then we'll go with our third set of seeds here. So our third set of seeds here are chives. Um, these are black seeds. They're quite a bit bigger than the other herbs we've been planting. Um, they look like onion seeds, if you know what those look like. But they're black and they kind of have like a pyramid round shape to them. There's quite a few seeds in here. It says there's about 20, but there's definitely more than 20. And so we're just gonna sprinkle these on top. They're kind of hard to see, but I just try to get them kind of even, and we'll see what these look like when they come up. And then this last one here is going to be our dill. I'm actually a big fan of dill, so I'm hoping these come out pretty well. Um, these are flat and kind of oval seeds. They're like a brownie tan color. And it says I have about 20 of them here. Again, I'm gonna plant probably about half of these and see what comes out of it. Actually, I'm going to plant probably all of these. Well, I'll do half just in case these don't take and I need to replant. I dropped too many in one spot. So we'll just kind of spread those around. I'll put the soil back over the top. And again, repat this down. All right, so now for probably one of the most important steps in gardening, which I think a lot of people kind of skip or don't mention, is that you need to label everything accordingly. Uh, if you don't, you'll forget. And then if you go to weed, uh, you might end up pulling things out that were growing really well. And what I like to use are these stakes. 
Um, they just have little metal sticks that slide in the ground, uh, metal tag on top. They come with these stickers. They just stick onto them. And then I actually buy these Sharpie oil-based paint. It's kind of like a pen, but it will, will write out exactly what it is. If it rains on here, it's okay, it doesn't bleed. But I get all this stuff on Amazon. I think it's a pretty good deal in general, but this is just how I label my plants. All right, here's my label. I'm just gonna put one planter in here, but I have kind of the quadrants drawn out and I have what they are next to each of them. I'm gonna put this in here, do a final watering, and then we're gonna set this outside. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and as always, until next time.